We are so happy to be joined once again by Peter Kaufman, President and Head of Restructuring and Distressed M&A with the Gordian Group. Peter, thanks for joining us. My pleasure. Thanks for having me on. Give us a little background, if you would, into the Gordian Group. Uh, we're an investment bank. We've been around for about 27 years. We think we're the leading investment bank in the country focused solely on anything distressed, complicated, or story. Uh, that's what we, and we advise companies, boards of directors, shareholders, buyers and sellers of uh, troubled or complicated deals, fairness, valuation, solvency opinions, and uh, expert witness litigation support. Now, I've known you for a couple of years, and I just learned this bit of trivia today, which I feel kind of foolish that I didn't know. Gordian, referring to the knot, we're Gordian, and you're not. Very clever. Well, it's, uh, it's a name that connotes the complexities of the world in which we inhabit, and uh, a lot of people have heard of the Gordian knot. Very few people know how it was solved. Nobody could figure out how to untangle the knot, and Alexander the Great came along and said, the heck with this, and he took out his sword. <laughs> and he whoosh, sliced easy. right through it. So we like to think that we slice through complicated Hence problems. your logo with the slice going through it. Okay, Correct. this is so exciting. You have recently co-written, along with Henry Owsley, the book Equity Holders Under Siege. I'm going to hold it up for a second right here and hand it to you. This is a very interesting book. Now, who is it marketed toward? Well, you know, one of our uh, key assets at Gordian Group is we don't believe in conflicts of interest. Um, pretty much every other investment bank in our space works for companies and they work for bondholders and they work for financial institutions. We only work for companies. So we're the only ones who can give a board who's interested in looking out for shareholder value. We're the only ones who can give private equity firms advice that's unconflicted, creative, and zealous aimed at maximizing the recoveries for shareholders. Uh, nobody else will do that because everybody else is too afraid of upsetting the creditors, the financial institutions, the bondholders who will hire them in the next deal and the next deal and the next deal. Since, since we're not interested in having them hire us, uh, <laughs> we're, we're, we're glad to do whatever needs to be done to uh, get a disproportionately bigger recovery for old equity than, uh, than they ought to, otherwise might want to, ought to have. You know, with the economy constantly changing and all of the challenges, maybe some unforeseen, it seems like there might be a sequel and another sequel and another sequel after this is an ongoing process. Tell us about uh, how you came up with the concept of putting this together and how long it took you to do it. Well, about 10 years ago, Henry and I wrote the definitive book on distressed investment banking called Distressed Investment Banking to the Abyss and Back. Uh -huh. And we figured it was time once again to torture ourselves and write another <laughs> book. And uh, because we're so passionate about uh, seeing old equity not get the back of the hand from financial advisors and investment banks because of the conflicts, uh, we thought we would put pen to paper. It took, it took about a year. Uh, and it was, uh, as usual, painful, but we think very rewarding. We're very proud of this book, just as we are uh, of the other one. Although uh, it's upsetting to occasionally hear someone say, uh, you know, once you put this book down, you'll never be able to pick it back up again. Why is that? Um, yeah, they're, they're, making, they're, they're, making yeah. A, they're making a joke. Um, <laughs> okay. But, uh, you know, we're passionate about this business, passionate about what we do. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the great joys of being in this business for us is there's no, let's mark up the last deal. Hey, what did we do there? Let's do that again. Every situation is different. The dynamics are different. The businesses are different. The capital structure, the underlying documents, the, uh, all the dynamics. It's sui generis in every case, which is really fun for us because we get to do things new each, you know, each time and you know, try and bring our experience and lack of conflicts to bear in, a, in, a, in an effective way, hopefully. Typically, when one writes a book, uh, there's an outline that started, and then somewhere along the way, you go off in a separate area that might need more attention. Did that, this happen with this, or did you pretty much have it down? You knew what you were going to be doing. We, we knew the chapter headings. We agreed on that up front, and it, it just went from there. And how did you come up with the title? That's a really good question. I, I, you know, we batted titles around. No, that stinks. No, I don't I hate that. <laughs> and th this, is, this is what what fell out. But equity holders are under siege. When they're, if it's a financially distressed situation, uh, everybody else wants to go through the waterfall of value recovery. You know, value only flows if the higher class above it has received something. We like to stand that on its ear. We like to get old equity a recovery that other professionals, other investment banks simply won't get for them. And these are some of the tactics and strategies that we've, that, that we've used. Now, this is your second book. 
Do you foresee this book being relevant in five years or 10 years? Or will the climate, do you, you see new challenges? I, I, well, there always will be new challenges, mm -hmm. but I think this is gonna be timeless, just like the other book is, because uh, in, in, until and unless the bankruptcy code is completely stood on its ear, uh, this is, a, you know, old equity is going to be uh, downtrodden uh, and behind the eight ball right out of the box and uh, conflicts of interest are going to exist for others. So you know, I think this is going to be uh, timely for a long time. Well, it sounds like a must have. So where can we pick up a copy? Amazon, fine bookstores everywhere, soon to be made into a major motion picture. <laughs> Starring you. Um, <laughs> so uh, go on the internet. Uh, it's, if somebody actually wants this, they'll easily they'll find, it. find it. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm so excited to take a look at this book and do a little learning from it. And great to talk to you once again, Peter. Great to be here. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.